Welcome to Marketecture, where you can get smart fast with in-depth interviews of leading technology vendors. I'm Brian Barletta of Sounds Profitable, and I'm here with Fatima Zaidi, CEO of Cohost. Welcome to the podcast, Fatima. Thanks so much, Brian. It's always a pleasure sitting across from you. Now we want to get into the product because what I want to explain is to the audience here, like, how does this fit? Again, not everybody listening here has a podcast. Thank you for listening to podcasts or watching us on YouTube or wherever else you're getting this. But they do understand the value of podcasts, the value of marketing of podcasts, the technology that comes into it. And as they're thinking through this stuff, whether they're building one of their own, evaluating doing it, or have something live, they kind of want to understand where all this could fit for them. So what does your product do specifically for that like MarTech and ad tech audience? I'm going to dissect it into a few different segments. I would say, you know, the, at the very basic package level, which is the $29.99, $30 a month per show, we can give you information and stats like demographic data. So you can see who your audience is and, you know, age, gender, household income, occupation. Um, we can do things like tracking links for anyone listening who has had experience with Chartable. Very similar product, I would say, that we built upon and iterated on. So we can show you where your listeners are coming in from so you can prioritize your marketing efforts. And then, of course, showing you things like automatic transcription so you don't have to pay for third-party softwares and you can automatically transcribe everything for SEO purposes as well as accessibility purposes. So at the base level, I would say we're a hosting provider that can give you better analytics than maybe other hosting providers. But the real work begins with our B2B and now B2C analytics showing you which companies are listening to your podcast so that you can take that data and you can integrate it with your CRM tools and use it for many different reasons. You can use it to tap into potential sponsors and advertisers. You can integrate it with your CRM tool for customer company sales. So lead generation to hand it over to your sales teams to go out there and be able to identify how many MQLs do you have in your CRM tool that are actively listening to your podcast and then vice versa, how many people are listening to your podcast that aren't an actual MQL in your CRM tool. And then on the marketing side, there's lots of opportunities as well for collaboration, creating custom content for specific industries, and generally making sure that you're reaching the audience that you intend to. I think the use cases are, are very, very like varied in terms of like how our clients are essentially utilizing this data. I would say we have two really big goals as it pertains to the B2B analytics side of things. We want to become the Google Analytics of podcasting for companies companies that are looking for that premium level of data. And so integrating with CRM tools for sure is like definitely the first fit. But now we're also looking at how do we provide you with, you know, the LinkedIn profiles of the people who are listening, or maybe even more so not just focusing on IP matching, but can we give you a little bit of a, a sales list in terms of who you can be potentially reaching out to or the type of people that are interested in your content? I'm really tired of hearing that podcasting is a brand awareness tactic and now want to move towards, no, podcasting can actually impact your brand's bottom line. Thanks for listening. To hear the complete interview, subscribe at marketecture.tv. 